We're having fun on the show today. I hate to bring it down a little bit, but it is so sad. The news about Luke Perry pouring in and so many celebrities and fans putting their condolences on social media. He was 52 years old. He had a massive heart attack just less than a week ago. And reports this morning uh, from ABC said he never woke up from that, that he was sedated and family and friends by his side when he passed away earlier this week. He's only 52. 52 It's years so young. Old. I was shocked when I, I was watching mm -hmm. Midday yesterday and I saw you talking about it. I hadn't read it yesterday morning, mm -hmm. but I think we were, you spent the night with me not very long ago with, Thursday or yes, whatever, and we it looked happened at it, on Wednesday and I thought he was week. going to be fine happened after on his Wednesday stroke. Wednesday of last week. I mean, this is someone who has spanned the generations with his acting. I mean, Beverly Hills 90210, that was the show we watched in college. Like, that was, he was the it guy. Right? I mean, he was the he bad was boy. The it guy. But now Riverdale, and he has a host of new fans. Like, my daughters love him. My daughters were talking about this yesterday because he plays a dad on Riverdale, which is the new 90210 for that generation. But you were just saying that he has a history of heart disease. So first, let's yeah. show you. I want to talk about the risk factors okay. that, he, that he had that a lot of doctors this morning want you to be aware of everybody. But let's look at the uh, the condolences pouring in. So many of his co-stars are writing on social media today. Um, Dearest Luke, there's Ian's earring. Um, I mean, they look were together happy. on 90210. Oh. He said, I will forever bask in the loving memories we shared over the last 30 years. May your journey forward be enriched by the magnificent souls who have passed before you, just like you have done here for those you leave behind. God, please give him a seat close to you. He deserves it. Kind is the word coming from so many people this morning. He Isn't that crazy? He had a kind. subtle kindness about his personality. You know what I mean? I like feel like that a, you saw it when he, even in his acting. Yeah, he, he kind of had kind. I wouldn't say brooding, but maybe just a little, a little close to that. Yeah, a little bit, he did. Yeah. Uh, Molly Ringwald says this. She's now with him on Riverdale, and she says goodbye, my friend. I enjoyed dancing with you for a time. Mm. Um, there's Does her he picture. have children? He has two children, and according to friends and family, they, they were his greatest accomplishment. He has an 18-year-old and a 21-year-old. Um, Stephen King, Luke Perry, dead at 52. Oh, man, that's so wrong and so sad. Condolences to family, friends, and fans around the world. And Leonardo DiCaprio, he just shot a movie with Luke Perry that will be coming out in the next several months. And he said this, kind-hearted, incredibly talented artist, honored to be able to work with him. Thoughts and prayers go out to him and his loved ones. So many people saying just absolutely heartbroken about this shock uh, over the last couple days. So it does shed light on the risk of stroke at any age. Um, so 52 years old, many wonder how someone in their 50s could experience something like this. It's most common over the age of 65, but it does happen. One in four people can have a stroke when they are under the age of 65, according well, to doctors. that's still pretty high. I that's mean, very high. Four. That's high. Yeah. So he was a casual smoker. There are risk factors. Talked in People Magazine uh, in 1994 that he could take it or leave it, but did smoke. He also so this morning we're finding out had a family history of heart disease. Father died in 1980 from a heart attack. Um, so what causes a stroke? Here are the risk factors on your screen. Previous stroke, high blood pressure plays a huge role. Diabetes, obesity, high cholesterol if you have any smoking or drug use in your past, and also heart disease. Risk factors you see in older patients, but they're now seeing them, doctors say, in younger people. These are becoming more prevalent at a younger age. Oh, it's awful. I, um, I, Dr. Red keeps wanting me to get my blood tested, and I feel like people need to be more aware. I'm gonna do that, Dr. Red. I Dr. Promise. Red, yeah. Well, I'm when gonna you do see, that. Well, sometimes does. you see just things like this. Just for the like things that of, are happening yeah. in your body that you may not know about. You feel like it may, just maybe, if, if that's what it takes to be able to spur some people who are also at risk to be able to get some changes done in their life, it's a, it serves a good purpose mm -hmm. in that way. Have you heard Be Fast? Those are those symptoms that you're fast, getting, right. and that's what you need to remember, everybody. If this is happening to you or a loved one, if you're suffering from poor balance, eye problems, facial droop, arm or limb weakness, slurred speech, it's time to get to the hospital. Time is of the essence. You have to get there as fast as possible. Stroke is the fifth leading cause of death in the U.S. So mm -hmm. it is, I mean, it, it's sad, but it definitely has people talking. I was watching the doctor on Good Morning America this morning, and my husband's like, wait a minute, I haven't checked my blood pressure recently. So you're right, it does, it's just it's a, a reminder. It's a great reminder. Great reminder to And everyone. hopefully we don't have to have these type of reminders to be able to make those changes, but if you can, please do, because everyone who's watching this morning wanted you to be with us yeah, a lot longer than we wish he was with us. All right, coming up next,